Greetings dear friends of Mercia and welcome back. So what do we have going on today you may ask? We'll be continuing our war with the Vikings of course. Hmm. If you remember from last time we had just won some outstanding battles and we hopefully have the Vikings on the back foot and by back foot I mean we've absolutely destroyed all their armies and killed their best general. We also killed the king. Mm. Also, if you missed the last episode and are thinking, well, what happened to Wales? There is no Wales. We captured all their lands and painted Mercian banners on everyone's house. And anyone who still supports the Welsh gets eaten by Crazy King Seawolf. He really is insane. So let's continue with our war with the Vikings. So what do we have? Well we have the Vikings of Helborg here who have decided to come marching off into Mercian territory, how very dare you sir, and capture one of our small settlements. However this is an extremely bad idea as Wilfrith Prince, Wilfrith and the Giant Slayers have decided to come marching down to meet them head on which is absolutely wonderful and they are backed up by the extremely handsome Snellhelm. His army is extremely powerful, of course it is. So, this is going to go absolutely terrible for you, my friend, even though you do have a full stack of 20 units. That will be nothing compared to the combined force. So, that will be that. Once we have managed to defeat these guys, we're going to come marching over here and start taking their things, of course. That sounds absolutely perfect. Hopefully we can get in there before these guys start taking things because, uh, yeah. And over here, of course, we have our king, the crazy seal wolf. Now, if you do remember, he managed to get a close victory here against the thunder swords. And we managed to absolutely annihilate them and kill their general. That is a damn, damn shame. Somebody spit on this man's corpse. So that is absolutely wonderful. He has barely got any men left. However, they have just sprung on 20 men from nowhere here and they're going to come marching straight down to Manchester and lay siege. Now, our king has got quite the army as you can see. He should hopefully be able to hold on. We'll have to wait and see. Moving over here, the Vikings also have a small army. Now, this is very petty and they'll probably come down here and try and help. Of course they will, but you guys can try. Wales is all doing well as you saw so absolutely wonderful no problems we do need to try and become friends with these guys if we can um, let's have a little look to see how our relationship is going with these guys they absolutely hate us that is a damn damn shame um, and it is only deteriorating yes okay they condemn us for starting a war with all the Welsh people okay that is fair however we will destroy you if you decide to start a war so there we go let's see how we do we're gonna end our turn and let's see what happens guys so as expected the smelly Vikings have decided to lay siege to Manchester good luck with that one boys you guys are really gonna need it so what else has happened well of course the Vikings are trying to swarm us over in Manchester but hopefully crazy King Seawolf should be able to deal with that however more depressing news I know you guys were around here somewhere because we saw you there is a boatload of Vikings heading over here to lay siege as well hopefully they're gonna stay away from Wales as it is a full 20 stack over here all seem to be going well what we're going to do is we are of course going to attack 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 yes you oh it's the king as well the king let's see how well we do on this one guys yes we will fight the battle manually mm. so guys here we are this should be quite the fight here guys of course they are currently in the hamlet area here they've set up their battle lines this should be interesting our reinforcements have just arrived we've got a full cavalry charge going on over here to try and deal with their cavalry our infantry are pushing forward as well as you can see this is all all go we should hopefully be able to surround them our cavalry is doing an excellent job here absolutely wonderful we should be able to deal with that they are sending infantry over here they've got a cavalry charge coming over here as well but we do have some earl spears there to deal with that now our lines are meeting here which should be very interesting 
absolutely wonderful. There we go. These guys, their herd spearmen, um, swordmen, could be a problem. We do have to keep our eye on that. Their cavalry are pulling back. We have defeated their cavalry up at the top there. We have more infantry pushing down here at our royal companions. These guys are going to be pushing in here once they see the situation. All seems to be good. They have their large axes here pushing. This could be quite interesting here. We do need to keep our eye on these guys because these are only spearmen and they are heavily outnumbered at the moment. However, our uh, cavalry over here is doing extremely well. We do have some swordmen coming in to help. Absolutely wonderful. This is Wilfrith himself. He is getting stuck into the fight as well. Our cavalry is moving up there to help. Yes, our men are running shameless. That is a shameless so it does look like we are absolutely stomping them this is a victory guys they barely have anything left as you can see we are completely surrounding this flank here which we thought may be a problem their cavalry is running for their life that is in fact our cavalry that is a damn damn shame however we have completely annihilated them there this is a victory guys we have more men pushing in absolute stunning victory here is I think this could be their commander here fighting for his life. That is a victory, guys. A stunning victory. Well done, Mercia. You have done an outstanding job, guys. Well done. And as you can see, that was a absolute outstanding victory. Of course, you guys got absolutely wrecked. So, that is their king dead. And that is our land back. Thank you very much, sir. You will not be coming back this way anytime soon, I'm sure of it. So, we're going to head straight over here as we've got some land that we want to be capturing. Um, absolutely wonderful. All seems good there. Uh, oh, okay. You've only got one man. So here is going to be a small problem. We're going to have to wait to see what happens with this one. It does look like Wilfrith here. Um, you can have a quartermaster. We will send you a quartermaster, our dear son, of course. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. All seems glorious there. Somebody has low. Okay. You, sir. Hmm. Yes. Okay absolutely wonderful so there we go let us see how because i've got a feeling these guys will be attacking the next turn so let's have a seat and see how we get on with this one guys As expected, they have decided to attack Manchester. Big mistake, my friend, although you do have quite a strong army there. Hmm. Okay, so let's see how we get on with this one. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can pull out another victory, guys. So here we are. We are all go. Now, we have our bowmen set up here, firing arrows over on their equipment over there. We have our arrows well placed on the wall here. Down here is going to be an absolute killing zone for anybody who tries to get through the main gate. We are a little bit puzzled why the Vikings decided to choose this path here to try and assault the walls. That is very foolish. We also have our infantry well placed because the, what we're hoping to achieve here is to annihilate both of their siege towers here. And then the only way in is through the gate of death. Yes, so that should hopefully be the case. And we'll have to wait and see if we can destroy these before they get to the wall. However, if they don't, then we do have our infantry here. We have our Earl Thanes who can rush over and try and help as best we can. As well as we have a watchtower as well, which should be able to help. So here's the first volley coming in. Absolutely excellent. What are we on? We are on 15% damage. This one is at 37. We have got a great... Oh! what an absolute excellent flurry of arrows there guys hopefully fingers crossed this one looks like it could be on its way to burning before it gets to the wall the 
battering ram is trying to make its way over are we able to get rid of this 85 it does look like that one is going up in flames excellent you will not be using that one we need to focus everything on this one now however this is at 60 percent it does look like we're going to be able to get this one that one's already burnt up guys stop firing on that we need this one 70 percent oh can we do it just in time 90% come on guys get another yes there we go there we go your only way in now is through the gate of death and I have a feeling you guys will not be pushing through there very easily we have our javelin men throwing our uh, spears over here this is hope I've got a feeling that will definitely make its way over to the gate you guys need to stop firing on there yes absolutely wonderful get firing on the infantry so it does look like our bowmen here have been absolutely annihilated through uh, because of their, their their archers over in the corner there that is a damn damn shame hopefully these guys can get enough arrows over there before they get picked off the walls as well but all is looking absolutely wonderful here are you guys able to yes you're still yes excellent throw your spears men the javelin men are doing extremely well here their men are falling that looks like it got you right in the crotch my friend you are struggling for life there friend all the best yes you have died unlucky you should not have tried to come this way vikings not at all it does look like our javelin men are taking yes they are getting fired on from their archers over here by the look hang in men keep pushing the gates are down however you now have the daunting task of getting through the garrisoned infantry good luck with this one gentlemen good luck our archers are still doing an excellent job here well done guys well done look like the vikings are trying to run for their lives here it does look like we've managed to hold them off here come more vikings through the gate of death you guys will not be capturing i think this is game guys they will not get through this especially considering we have all these men ready to back up we're pushing our axemen in there but they will not get through they're not even capturing the gate which means our watchtowers are still firing on these men down here and our archers are still doing the lord's work this should be a victory i can't imagine them getting through what we're going to do is we're just going to fast forward this bit guys as they're not getting through they're not getting through this is a victory guys this is a victory we will not bore you guys with watching Vikings get absolutely slaughtered in the tunnel of death here. Mm. And as you can see, they have 90 men left. Well done, Seal Wolf. Again, you guys are getting absolutely romper stomped. Um, we will kill everyone, kill them all, Seal Wolf. Seal Wolf will probably eat a few as well. He is pretty crazy. There is the big stack of um, the Vikings coming over. So that's some more for us to defeat. This is turning out to be extremely easy. Wonderful. Mm, you guys will be destroyed as well, my friend. Schema. There is a schema. Okay, well, we declare our authority, sir. Mm. So, this looks like the Vikings over in uh, Yes Island. We don't care about that, my friend. What have we unlocked? Talented grower. Well done, Wilfrith. You are a man of many talents, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. All seems to be going extremely well there. Wonderful. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to wait for these guys to come. We will replenish our men what have we got here well we could do with some more archers because we did take quite a quite a hit there and all should be good oh, our food is a problem that is a big big problem what can we do to remedy this um, well it does look like we may have to dispatch you my friend okay absolutely wonderful 
so what we're going to do here well let's go straight over there capture that place wonderful Wilfrith if you wouldn't mind heading over there as well my friend yes lay siege lay siege my friend absolutely wonderful we've also unlocked something Harold you can have another scribe my friend and all seems to be really good there wonderful um, yep so all seems to be good there absolutely wonderful with capturing over here yes wonderful okay we will end another turn and hopefully we can get most of this captured pretty quickly right guys and we are back it does look like the Vikings are really trying to gather up in Manchester here to try and get old seal wolf out of their old settlement that is not going to work my friend not at all hmm so next turn I think these guys are all going to come marching down here and try and attack us and um, we're not we're, we're a bit low on our gold reserves at the moment so we will leave that hopefully fingers crossed we can replenish some more men just in time for them guys to attack however up here is going extremely well it does look like they have decided yep yeah, so we're just going to auto resolve that and that is another settlement captured from the smelly vikings it is going extremely well over the northern england area absolutely wonderful yes decisive victory move in there my friend absolutely wonderful so there we go let us yes we will repair that we will get rid of that and we will get rid of that my friend absolutely wonderful so the other bad news however is the old east angles have decided to start a war with us which is absolutely terrible and they have come in and taken one of our settlements pretty quickly here we're going to have to send uh, wilfrith over here hopefully he can deal with that oh this is going to be a very tough fight there we will have to come back to that one so what have we got well we've got some low public order yes okay that is terrible we have food shortages which is a major concern let's have a quick look what have you got here my friend you can have yes absolutely wonderful and we have got some research available excellent so what we're going to do well we're going to improve our cavalry of course we are improve our cavalry and we do need to deal with this food shortage now normally what we could do is just push the um the economy up at the tax level we would get more food however because things are not going all that great at the moment we could end up with a civil war on our hand which is a bit of a damn shame however we do have a border war which means people are going to be more likely to accept the fact that we are up in the taxes so we'll have to see how we get on with that one so what we're going to do is we're going to see if our good son here can defeat these guys this will be a very tough battle guys oh come on Wilfrith please don't die here we go guys this one should be a close one we will really have to pull out all the stops for this so what do we have we have our cavalry charging over here they're setting up position on the flank we also have our infantry marching to meet their front lines here hopefully this should be a clash with shield wall up trying to block them and stop them they've got heavy axes here these guys should be a problem however we will have to see our cavalry has charged their cavalry is charging we have earl spears on the way to help with the cavalry issue over here we also have our cavalry over in the corner here if you can see just at the back protecting the rear they are pushing everything they have here guys we do have raiders as well these guys are going to be a huge problem we have managed to flank the long axes here as well we have um wilfrith here he's doing an outstanding job just watching well done my friend we also have our cavalry pushing over here on their remaining archers that is all absolutely excellent everything seems to be going really well we have more earl thanes coming over here to try and get round the rear of this big blob of infantry here which could be a problem however if we can encircle them then that will be absolutely excellent and here comes the encirclement we have more earl thanes here as well as wilthrith is pushing in outstanding work there we can see their long axes are really struggling over in the 
over in the far flank here as well. Yes, my friend, I saw you look around thinking, oh my God, we are surrounded. Yes, you are surrounded. Run for your lives, men, run for your lives. This looks like this is going to be a stunning victory, guys. An absolute stunning victory. We was a little bit worried that this was not going to be easy, but this was an absolute romper stomp. Absolute excellent. Well done, Mercia. And there's an, our cavalry has just come marching in the back. Wilfrith is pushing in as well. This is definitely a victory, guys. Yes, well done, Mercians. Well done. Yes, that's right, another successful victory. Absolutely wonderful. Well done, Will Thrift. You did extremely well there, my friend. So, Occupy, and that should deal with our issue. Absolutely wonderful. We can now lower our tax level, and we're still absolutely perfect. There we go. And I do believe, Will Thrift, you have unlocked. Why don't you have a champion sent over to you immediately, my friend? Well done. Absolutely outstanding work there. So that is it for today. We are doing extremely well. Join us back next time as obviously these Vikings are going to get romper stomped by Crazy King Seawolf and then we can start going round and taking more land. We're also going to be capturing most of this land up here as well, as well as our continued war with the East Angles. We're not going to be doing too much with the East Angles. I think we're going to focus mainly on trying to capture the north of England. But we should be able to wrap that up in the next episode or at least get a good way far up north. Join us back next time, guys. We'll see you then.